Where we are standing now mm -hmm. was a refuse dump. Okay. The whole place was a refuse dump. At the time and the land was given to you? Yes. This is where the whole community were throwing their refuse. Oh, wow. And so you can't imagine... How filthy the place was. Yes. It's always exciting to have you back on the People and Places show here on Ghana Web TV. The view behind me tells it all. We are in the heart of the eastern region, specifically in Kweu, um, Abetifi. And today we are going to tell you another interesting story. It's all about the Abetifi Stone Age Park. Right after this break, we'll meet our guest who will tell us about this beautiful place. My name is Wanda Ami Edwasari. We'll be right back. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Hi, morning. So welcome back. Uh, this is our special guest for today's episode of the show. This is Mr. Ben, ben Ado. Ado. Yes. How are you doing, sir? Fine. Fine. Great. And you have a very beautiful place. Thank you. Thank you. So how old is this park? The park is in itself nine years. Okay. We started nine years ago, okay. Okay. but it has a long history. Right. A long history, 12,500 years. Right. Yeah. But you were born and bred here. Um, both parents are from here, okay. from Abitifi. Okay. So I'm 100% Abitifi. I can yeah. see. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So he will be taking us round the place today and he has all the details you need to know about this place. So sir, where will we begin our tour from? Yeah, we can show you the, our restaurant. Okay. And then we move on to the workshop. Right. Pass through yeah, the other places. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so um, before we even begin the tour, what is the story behind this place? So, yeah. It's um, 1940. There was one British um, called Thurston Shaw. Mm -hmm. Thurston Shaw came here and made excavations in our cave. There is a cave here down. And um, he realized that people stayed in the cave, so he wrote it down. And 2013, another professor also came in and he also made another excavation. Mm -hmm. Because they, they, now they have the technology to date. Mm -hmm. Preston Shaw couldn't date, so he made... Uh, <laughs> the discovery to a point. Yeah, so um, he came with another team mm -hmm. to try and date. And that is where and when I met them. Okay. So we met in the cave. This and was had, when? That was um, 2010. 20, 2010. 2010. 2010. Were yes. you in Ghana then? Yes, I came on holidays and fortunately I met them in the cave. You came and on they, holidays? Yes. Okay, so before then, where were you? Um, I stayed in Germany okay. for 25 years. Okay. I was teaching the art. Right. So art is my profession. Right. Yeah. So okay. uh, we once came on holidays and we went to our land and we saw them. Mm -hmm. We met them that um, they, they want to do excavations in our cave. So I asked them why they were there and that is when they told me that Testing Shaw came and that is the reason why they are here to uh, try and date okay. the place. Yeah, so we exchanged contacts and later he wrote me back and told me um, 12,500 years ago people were staying in the cave. 
when I said, wow. 12,500 years, that's a very long time. Yes, just imagine 10,500 years before, before Jesus Christ, Christ was even born. <laughs> and people were here in RBTV. Before you continue, when at the time you found out that these researchers had come to do excavations, yeah. who was the land for? The land, fortunately, or fortunately, belonged to my mother. Okay. So when I was a child, we used to go there. You see, my parents were not staying in Abitifi. Mm. They were outside. But sometimes, like funerals or uh, some festivals, they used to come to Abitifi. And always they wanted people to know that the land belongs to them. Okay. So they would send us to the farm and then, mm. um, yeah. And this place was for me a sacred place mm. because we would send um, like laborers to the farm to try and weed. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't weed like 20 square meters and then they would find a python. Oh, okay. Yes, very big snake. And by then my parents always would let us stay in the cave and they would go into the forest. So the cave was habitable? Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. So we, we will always, that was where we were cooking wow. and doing everything. We, the children, we were always in the cave waiting wow. for them. So these people, these laborers will bring the snake, this very huge... Mm -hmm. Alive? No, killed. Okay. You see, they, they, will, they will make a, a, a peg. Okay. And then peg the head. And this animal will struggle for about 30 minutes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. whatever, before it dies. And then they will pull it to us in the cave mm -hmm. and then try to divide it to take it home. Okay. Yeah. And so... So you were eating snake meat? No, but... but our, <laughs> Some people were... They, they live okay. yes. Okay. And so um, it was, for me, all the time in my mind, this place is a sacred place. Mm. Such snakes, they, we have to do something. So all along when I was in Germany, I was always thinking, pondering over it. What am I going to do there? What? And so when it came, it was like... A lot of yes, okay, an opportunity, <laughs> yeah, opportunity to, to make to, your dreams to, come yes, true. Yes, come okay. true. Okay, yeah. right. So I talked to the chief and he gave me the land and immediately I started. I didn't have any problems of um, doing something like that. That was in 2010 because you had already yes. imagined. Imagine, yeah. Wanted. So when I went back to Germany, I made a lot of researches, mm -hmm. bought a lot of books. My uh, wife was always helping me putting things together, how mm -hmm. we could. So we planned coming back home, mm -hmm. yeah. And that was when I started um, with the cave. Okay. First I started with the, the statues and then um, started preparing the land. Mm -hmm. So the chief gave me 52 acres of land. That's how big the park is, that is 52, uh, 52 acres. 52 acres. That's very yes, big. Yes, yes, it was surprising for me how he could even give, give me that. that. Land. And unfortunately, where we are standing now yeah. was a refuse dump. Okay. The whole place was a refuse dump. At the time and the land was given to you? Yes. This is where the whole community were throwing their refuse. Oh, wow. And so you can't imagine... How filthy the place was. The scent, the plastics, wow. and flies, and sorry to say, this is where people were also going to toilet. Okay. Yes. And it was horrible. Mm. And so it was for me also one of my um, uh, agenda mm -hmm. to clear transform it. The yes, place. Yes, to transform the place because um, my house is just close here and mm. it was also worrying me. And I saw. Yes. Mm. So um, that was the first thing I did. Mm -hmm. And um, I, it, we used the 20 wheeler truck. It went in 22 times before I could clear all the refuse from here. 22, 22 times. times. You can imagine how much it was horrible. Of, of filth was here. Yeah, it was horrible. Wow. So this is what the, this was the first place, and I started planting the trees. People were farming there, and I also gave some portions of the farms to other people mm -hmm. to. Um, do their farming and within I started also planting my trees okay. so after some time the trees were bigger and they couldn't farm so they had to move away or when I needed the land 
I shipped them to another place. So that that was how I was trying to save money mm. also to do this. And all along, I was also working on the statues. Okay. So in all, I have 17 statues so okay. far and that is what i have in the cave in the cave yes so we'll be going to the cave we'll be going to the I, cave i was i just wanted to have a a brief yeah. insight into how this place actually came to be yeah so i'm sure while uh, the conversation goes on we'll be going around at different places yeah. and each place has a story yes mr mr Ado is ready to tell us all about it so yes. get yourself geared up yeah. Okay, so we are here. What um, aside this place being um, a rubbish or a landfill site that was cleared, yeah. what else can you tell us about this place? Yeah. So I went to the forestry department, mm -hmm. asked if we could have some cutoffs, mm -hmm. and so I turned them to tables and chairs, something okay. natural here to have here as the center of the place, a restaurant, a bar, mm. and everything. Okay. And this statue also, I made it. It's also very tall, magnificent, mm -hmm. just because of where it is standing. Mm -hmm. Because if I had done it, the natural height, mm -hmm. you, we couldn't have recognized it. Okay. Yeah, so I made it bigger so that everybody can see. So this is so how... So it was already here? No, okay, I made it. Created. Yeah, I, I made it. But what does it represent? Sir? One of the cavemen. They, okay. were, they were all naked. Okay. They were naked. Yeah, yeah. at the time. So that is my imagination how... Right. Yes. One of them looks like. It looks like. Okay. So he has his a stick. And a stone. Yeah, that is a, a snail. In it's his unfortunate, hand. yes. It's okay. unfortunate... Um, the snail is looking up. So from down here, from where we are standing, it looks yeah. like it's a stone. Yeah. But if you get closer, closer. And okay. I should have probably turned it so that... <laughs> you can have... see the head from the side, yes. but it's fine. It's yeah. fine. I mean, once you're able to tell what this is, when, yeah, it, when you it's, get it's a, it's a snail. Okay. It's a snail because um, with the excavations, they had a lot of um, snail shell deposits. Okay. Yes. Okay. So I know definitely that there they were, snails were eating here. snails. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so this is the um, restaurant mm. and um, we are trying to, because also we don't have money, mm -hmm. <laughs> we are trying to recycle everything. Okay. And as you see here, we have these beautiful rocks and our kitchen is behind. Mm -hmm. So in order not to also um, have the wastewater here and stinky, we try to recycle the water. The water so I'm going to show you how um, we did it okay. with our waste water from the kitchen. Mm. Yeah. Okay, but I mean, before then, yeah. these rocks, yeah. stones, how did they get here? Because I'm sure when you cleared the place, yeah. it wasn't looking like this initially. No. Okay. There were, as I said, filled mm -hmm. and some black soil also on it. Mm -hmm. So we, we finished building the house and all these pillars you see, because they are standing on rocks, I um, drilled myself mm -hmm. because I wanted to be sure they are strong enough. Mm -hmm. So all the iron rods, I, I drilled them in, into the rocks, mm -hmm. tied them before we made the pillars. Okay. And I didn't want to have cement on the rocks. So we finished building the um, house mm -hmm. before removing the black soil. So okay. before I even, I didn't know what was under here. And God so uh, being good, so being so good, there was like these steps here. Because, Already there. Yeah, you see, it's on two levels. Yeah. And I was pondering how we could climb up and God being so good, it was, was already. already there and on the other side. So it was very clear for me to use those places as paths. As, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And this rock you see behind, mm -hmm. it was also lying in front here. So we had to pull to that side. And the other one also was lying also in front of the rock. So we pulled it to the other so side. So it's more or less like you took the soil off, off and then rearranged Rearranged the everything. Right. Almost okay. everything was like, but I didn't know how it looked like. Until it was always a surprise for me as I worked mm. further. 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So um, this is our uh, purification uh, system. Mm. So we have the kitchen behind. The wastewater comes in here. Mm -hmm. It's piped to this side. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, as you can see, it's a filth. Okay. And it's it doesn't smell. Mm -hmm. This is because the the soaps and the oils and everything mm -hmm. has formed a layer. Okay. On top, so it's sealed, and the uh, um, fresh water comes under here and passes through the rocks. So the waste comes on top. In, in here. Yeah. It filters it. Then yeah. the water goes down. The water goes down, okay. and the water passes through this okay. pipe. So you, you saw it, the, the layer on mm -hmm. top. So it passes under. Mm -hmm. Through these rocks, mm -hmm. when it comes here, it's clean. And charcoal takes out the scent and all the um, gems mm. out of it. Mm. So by the time it gets to this point, it's clean. And so we've piped, we've laid the pipes here. Mm -hmm. That was the reason why we also made this flower bed. Okay. Because we didn't want to uh, show the pipes. Mm -hmm. so, so it serves as a cover. It serves oh. as a cover. Right. Yeah. So it's all underneath here. Yeah. But I'm curious though, yeah. the charcoal. Yes. Um, do you burn it yourself? Or no, it's ordinary, it? ordinary charcoal from the market. Okay, so you buy... We okay. bought it from the market. So this is the water. The pipe is laid under here and it comes out through this side. Oh, okay. And as you That's can see... That's very clean yes. water. Okay. Very clean. You can drink even if okay. you work. Wow. And so the water goes down and that is where we are using it as our waterfall. Wow. Yeah. So underneath we've built we've built um, a tank. Mm -hmm. A tank underneath there. That is huh. why we have the uh, rock. Yeah. And we have created a tank. We've built a tank underneath. Okay. So the water is contained in the Yeah, okay. harvested there. And inside we have a pump. Okay. So the pump brings the water back through. That is why we planted the plant, trees there. The greens. Okay. So the pipes is under the greens mm -hmm. and then comes back. So Oh, so the water is just is going round. Going round. So okay. when when the other comes, it collects and all the time back. and then we are always circulating the water. Oh wow. Yeah. This is this is really creative. This was your idea. Yes. yes. How I mean, how did this or it's it's all part of the art? Part of the art too, but also necessity. You okay. know, because I needed to find means of getting to rid of, of the waste waste water. Water from wow. the things and so I'm really impressed. This so is, imagine we in Accra all this wastewater from you the know, gutters. If we are to channel it to yeah. And okay, you don't need any water. machine, anything. It's probably the pumping where you may need a, a, a machine. machine. But filtering is just a matter of sun mm. and all that. Wow. Yes. Wow. So we have waterfalls and it's running all the time because the we are always producing yeah, having, water. Yeah, we are always producing wow. water. Yeah. This is this is really yeah. Cool. It's all out of necessity. Mm. It's like it's like um, the wall mm -hmm. you see here. Mm -hmm. We had this fence wall. It belonged to the neighbor, mm -hmm. and I needed to cover it because it wasn't looking nice. And as, as I said before, the whole place was filthy. Mm -hmm. Plastics. People all were around. yeah. So we used these stones. These stones are from Abitifu here. Okay. We used them and I wanted to have the name on it and I wanted something which is, um, uh, how do you call it, sustainable. Okay. So I decided to use bottles. Broken bottles. Yeah. 
I was okay. first thinking of tires, but tires, floor tires, I didn't find it mm -hmm. nice. So it fell in my mind, why not bottles? And so I wrote and to Ghana Guinness okay. and they sponsored okay. me with the bottles. Okay. And so we used it to write. And wow. it's always, it never fades. Yeah. So it's done justice to the world. Yes. It's very beautiful. And now it's beautiful. And very from beautiful. all over Abitizi, like if you are in the secondary school mm -hmm. in Pepeasi, the neighboring town, you can still read see. this. Yes. Wow. Yes. And when the sun also shines on it, it glitters. It gives it a different. Yeah. You see. So, this is very impressive. So that is that. Very impressive, right? Yeah. So let's hold it here. Uh, this is just one aspect of the park, 52 acres. There's so more to learn. So don't go away. We'll be right back after this quick break. Stay with us. Everyone needs the perfect snack to munch on during a fun moment. Wow. Enjoy the tasty McBerry Twist Cupcakes, wow. deliciously baked and packaged for a sweet treat. Mm. Premium quality cakes baked with love for all. Enriched in butter and milk. Mm, yummy. Oh, McBerry Twist Cupcakes. Simply irresistible. Try one today. This advert is FDA approved. Thanks for staying with us. We are still at the Abitifi Stone Age Park and this is still people in places. Now we are at the workshop of Mr. Ado. He's going to take us through um, the things he does here. This is where he produces everything before he takes them out to the park. So let's get going. After you. Yeah, so this is my house. And I finished everything, fortunately for me, I finished it before all this thing came in. Okay. Yes, if it had come earlier, probably I wouldn't have <laughs> spent the money here. Okay. <laughs> so, fortunately for me, I finished building the house. The house before you found out about... With the rocks and everything, so um, I had my experience. Mm. So it was easy for me deciding... To duplicate to do, or yes. replicate that. Yes. Okay. Right. So, um, here to the whole, um, the house is practically um, on water. Mm -hmm. Because, really? yes, you see, Abitifi is um, 630 meters above sea level. Mm -hmm. It's the highest habitable point in the whole Ghana. Yes. So it's very difficult with water. Mm. Uh -huh. Even if you bore, you drill a borehole, still you don't have it continuously. Mm. So this is my workshop. This is my storeroom. And here is where I meet almost everything. Yeah. Very small room. Yes. But it has produced everything. Yes. I made the statues mm -hmm. here, and these are some of the figures that I made. What, um, from, from the research, we realized that um, the people were very small. I mean, we, the Kwaus, we are very smallish. Mm -hmm. They were also very smallish. And the difference was that they had smaller heads, bigger hands and bigger feet okay yes probably probably because they were using the hands and the, the feet, feet so more. much yeah unlike today we have bigger heads <laughs> probably because we are thinking too much <laughs> and working with a computer and we don't use our hands and feet so much so that one is shrinking mm -hmm. and is the opposite way okay yeah so here you can have a close view of how the figures look like this looks very real yeah okay i'm sure we'll see more of these when you uh, get to the cave 
Yes, but in the cave we have a little of a distance, so you can't have it so okay, close. That so is why I've left okay. some here. But I mean, this, this. Okay, so then let's talk about how real this is. What did you use? I used um, iron rods mm -hmm. first, made a skeleton, and cement, sand, and water. So there are metals in this carving? Yes, yes. I had to use, um, like making a pillar. Really? <laughs> yes, so I made the structure first with uh, iron rods and then used cement and water to fill it. But it's hollow okay. also, so that it doesn't become too heavy. Okay. Yeah, so I made everything. Including this? Everything, everything. So, so everything also, is cement? Yes, wow. cement, after I painted it. Wow. And they had to look real. And can I touch? Yes, yes. This this part of the Yes. It's also cement. Is cement yes. So you just finished and then finished painted, and then painted it. it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This this is incredible. Yeah. I always try to make it as natural really as real as hair? possible. Yes. The hair is The hair looks like actual. No, hair. that one, that one, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, some in the cave I used um, natural hair. Okay. Yes. Natural hair is in hair from human beings. Yes, yes. And most people were thinking maybe I was using it for juju or something like that. So they had to come and see what I really ah. wanted to use it for when I wanted to buy. How did you get those? Yeah, I had to go to the barbers <laughs> to, to ask if I can buy some. So you bought, I bought natural I, I hair from to, there? I had to buy wow. it. And it was very difficult because... Um, they thought maybe I was... You were using it for, for ritualistic some, purposes. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And so, that okay. is that. And that is also one of them. And they were all naked. Yeah. They were naked. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Let's give you a close-up view of these things. Yeah. This is incredible. Yeah. If you are not so close, you would actually think this is a human being. Yeah. The nails. Mm. This is cool, cool. The hair, the eyes. Mm. This is incredible. Yeah. Right? I've made the skin so rough because it has to look like dirty and hairy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. In the cave, we are not so close to it, so it looks, it like, looks that. like that. That is why I made it like mm. this. Mm. Uh -huh. So when we get to the cave, then you you. Uh, understand what I mean. So all these are carvings? So, yeah. Only only the these ones are bones. Okay. But this is okay. also okay. they are okay. all okay. Um, wow. Yeah. This is just a bit of what more to expect in the coming episode. We visited other parts of the Stone Age Park including the cave with all the statues and discovered more. We'll bring you all the details in the next episode of People and Places on Ghana Web TV. Anticipate.